Get ready to make a succulent plant holder. Hi, Marie here. Welcome to Pottery Crafters. You found video number 25 in our Beginner Pottery Wheel Project series. Today you'll learn how to throw, decorate, and glaze a succulent plant holder. And yes, you'll see the finished piece. If you like what you see, please like the video. And if you want to support me or see new videos, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get a notification whenever I upload a video. Before we get started, here's a list of tools and supplies I use to make the succulent plant holder which will also be down below in the show notes along with any other important information I may talk about throughout the video. The tools and supplies listed are only recommendations and items I use on a daily basis. I'll be starting with the clay already centered, so if you're having any problems with centering your clay, you can check out the video up above. With that said, enjoy the video and make sure you stay to the end to see the finished piece. Let's get started. For this project, I have 11 ounces of Amico Stoneware 38 white clay. It's best to use both thumbs to open your clay. Then place your anchor hand on the side of the clay and use your fingers to continue opening. Stop to check the thickness of the bottom with your needle tool. A half an inch is good because you'll be trimming the bottom around the drainage hole. Compress the bottom and pull up the walls. Make sure your fingers are steady as you're pulling up the clay. If you feel any friction on your hands, add more water to the clay. Once you get the desired height, curve the plant holder out by gently pushing outward on the inside with your left hand while supporting the outside with your right hand. Collar in the rim with both hands. Remove any water on the bottom with your sponge. I'm smoothing out the rim with the Ultimate Edger and Chamois. Then smoothing out the sides with the soft red rib and making a double edged foot with the ultimate edger. Once the plant holder is leather hard, make the drainage hole with the circle shaped clay cutter. Doing this before you trim allows you to see how thick the bottom is.
With the help of the Gif and Grip and Loop tool, I'm trimming a little off the bottom around the drainage hole. Use both hands to keep the loop tool steady and trim a small amount off at a time to prevent any gouging. Once the succulent plant holder is bone dry, into my scut kiln it goes for a bisque firing at cone 04. Wipe with a damp sponge to remove any dust so the glaze can bond nicely to the plant holder. Apply wax resist on the bottom so any glaze easily wipes off with a damp sponge. Apply Amico Blue Rutile with the Artist Soft Fan Brush. Because of the drainage hole, brush the glaze on the inside of the plant holder. Always mix your glaze well before applying and pour through a strainer to catch any clumps or debris in the glaze. Brush a coat of blue rutile on the bottom and outside of the planter. Once the first coat is dry, apply a coat of blue rutile on the inside and outside. If you're new to glazing, check out my article on 27 glazing tips for beginners. I left a link for you in the description below. After the second coat is dry, float a third coat of blue rutile on the inside and outside.
Once the glaze is dry, dip the plant holder halfway down with Amico Smoky Merlot. When the glaze dries, give it another Smoky Merlot dip halfway down again. Let it dry and dip one more time in Spectrum Pearl White, this time just on the rim. Let the plant holder dry, wipe off any glaze on the bottom before it goes back into my scut kiln for a final firing at cone 5. Here's the finished succulent plant holder. I like the blue rutile smoky merlot and pearl white combination. It traveled nicely down the sides. No cracks. I think this little succulent plant holder turned out pretty good. What do you think? Feel free to post any questions, comments, or even ideas for future videos in the comments section below. Some of the best tips and feedback come from you. Also in the comments section are more show notes and pottery making info. I hope you've learned a thing or two to make your own succulent plant holder. Check out my other videos from Pottery Crafters. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified when a new video comes out. I'll see you in the next video.